someone please tell me why Kirito has to unnecessarily touch Sanon over and over again. I started counting this episode, Kirito touched Sanon for no reason, like on the shoulder, or held her hand, or something ridiculous like seven or eight times. I don't even know what to say about it. For the hero type of role I admit it With my heart Shivering in fear I can see today's rough How's it going SAO fans? Soul here bringing you episode 9 of Sword Art Online. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to watch it for free. The link is in the description below. And to start off, you have Asuna just sitting there watching the game, and I'm just wondering how she's not seeing this. It's getting so ridiculous. Asuna just needs to smack the shit out of him. Kirito is getting way too close to Sanon, but moving on from that, we at least got to see Asuna back in the series some more, even if it was an ALO. Her and everyone from the original Sword Art is actually watching the Bullet of Bullets tournament, and I love seeing the original characters. It kind of builds with them being shocked by Death Gun just showing us how dangerous he is. Even Klein comes in dropping his fake in-game glass on the floor for some reason to tell us that he does remember Death Gun from Laughing Coffin. And the same goes for Asuna. They both really seem to be disturbed by the presence of this character, especially since he's so close to Kirito. Asuna even decides to leave to talk to the guy who hired Kirito so you can tell she's getting nervous. I'll always love her character. I was actually sad we didn't get to see her in the real world after she left ALO. But sadly, now we have Sanan and Kirito getting even closer together, so much so that they're teaming up and Kirito is just going to keep weirdly grabbing her for no reason so hopefully Asuna will come in GGO or she will do something because honestly she needs to get back with the guy that she's dating in real life, the guy she married in SAO so I'm just waiting for Kirito and Asuna to have some time together. I mean I love Sanan as a character, she's a badass, she's extremely interesting with her past and everything but she doesn't belong with Kirito. Like in the random standard scene that just shows Kirito being a badass, he's doing so by deflecting tons of bullets with a sword to protect Sanon, and the whole time I'm just like, that should be Asuna laying there. But it is what it is, at least the animation was absolutely amazing for the scene, and pretty much for the entire show. The animation has just been top notch the whole way through, but I've always wanted to see Sanon be on her own, be her own character, be a monster with a sniper rifle, and not have to keep having Kirito protect her, and sadly it seems like that's what's happening. I personally think it just lessens her character. She's been amazing through most of SAO2, and now she has like this Call of Duty Halo mechanic where she can see through walls with her bright blue eyes. She's really cool, so I don't want to see her fall behind Kirito every step of the way. But moving on to the identity of Death Gun, I kind of had an idea of who I thought it was, but now I'm not sure at all. It's totally up in the air, and we had these three players who it could have been. Obviously not Pale Rider because Death Gun basically executed him while Sanon and Kirito watched, but it may not be either of the two other players either. I mean, this guy just came out of thin air in this episode. He could be using invisibility like in some first person shooters, or if he's able to kill people in real life, he could even be cheating. And mentioning that, it is really amazing, especially after we had Alfheim Online, that people can die in this game again. It really makes the series so much more intense, and I just can't wait to see what happens next. And now that in the end, Death Gun has Sinon on the floor and is pressing the trigger to kill her, the show is just so good right now. They keep throwing out unexpected things. I was expecting maybe Sinon to have to kill Kirito before Death Gun killed him, but then Death Gun just came out of nowhere, stunned Sinon, and now she sees the gun that she's used to kill someone in real life. We see her blood pressure rises, Sanon seems like she's having a panic attack seeing the face of the man she shot over and over again. I really feel for her character and all I can say is that I'm hyped to find out who Death Gun is and what happens to Sanon. I will really be shocked if she dies, but tell me what you guys thought of the episode in the comments below. What do you think of Death Gun so far? Kirito and Sanon teaming up. I'm hoping soon Asuna will finally be in the show again. Also leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are SAO fans, and stay tuned for more Sword Art Online. Have you ever